Greetings, beautiful and radiant beings. My name is Zephyr. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a returning viewer, beautiful beings, it's so great to be back. I took a few days off uh, over the weekend, um, 3D time, <laughs> uh, in my reality, and uh, worked with my friends providing massage at a volleyball tournament. It was really amazing to be around so much energy. It was tons of uh, young people, uh, kind of high school age, all playing volleyball, all full of team spirit. It was so great to see people pull together and to have everybody cheering for one another and to see the camaraderie. It was just absolutely beautiful. Wonderful and beautiful beings, I am a licensed massage therapist, bodywork professional, shamanic practitioner, Reiki master teacher, sound healer, and psychic intuitive, and I'm here to share with you messages from spirit. Beautiful beings, these messages are timeless, so whenever it is that you are seeing them is the perfect time for you. There are parts of this messages that are going to be uh, delivered that might not resonate with you. That's okay. Let them fall by. If there are parts that do resonate with you, accept them wholeheartedly and trust that Spirit is delivering those messages to you. Beautiful beings, in the 3D where we are right now, where I am right now, we have the full moon happening in the sign of Cancer. So lots of emotions are probably coming up to the surface for you all. We're going to see what the cards have to say, the messages that have to be shared. We're going to start out how we always do, and that is to clear and ground our space. Wonderful and glorious friends, wherever you are, create a little bit of space in your thoughts. Turn your attention to your breath. If you're able to let your eyes rest, allow your eyes to rest. Notice the sensation that the breath has on the body, how it expands and contracts. Move your attention to the tip of your tailbone. Allow it to extend beyond your physical body into the earth beneath you. Connect your vibration with Mother Earth. Notice the stable, sturdy, nurturing vibrations that Mother Earth has. Draw this vibration into your root chakra, the tip of your tailbone or pelvic bowl area, and allow this energy to reside there for as long as you need and know that you can come back to it at any time. Angel spirits, guides, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the messages that you've shared and thank you for the messages that are on their way. Angel spirits, guides, what is it that you have to share with our beautiful beings out there? What are the messages that the collective needs to know most at this time? All right. If you are new to the channel, I'm going to get all of the cards out on the table and then I'll share with you how I do my readings. We'll pull some clarifying messages and then final cards. In a typical reading, I pull five cards and I create a cross shape the card that is in the center is the energy that is coming up the biggest for you. Today, it is emotional release. There's big energy that's moving around you. Very true, because we also have Mercury in retrograde, we've got Venus in retrograde, so it's a time when lots of emotions can get moved around. Uh, Mercury retrograde is a time when communications can be a little bit challenging, where 
uh, traveling can be a little bit challenging, where documentation can be a little bit challenging. Uh, and that's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It just means that we need to take a little bit more time, but it does present um, times that are things that can be a little bit more challenging for us. Okay, we just need to slow it down so that we can be present with mm, ourselves and you know others. Uh, so if, if you're in a place where um, you are communicating a lot, make sure you just slow it down. Uh, Venus retrograde can, can be a time for us to also um, you know, bring ourselves inward. Venus is uh, a planet of, of divine feminine energy, so with this we want to make sure that we're bringing our energy in. On either side of this emotional release card, we've got stripping illusions and we've got home. So what I get from this is you all are making some very big changes around your core beliefs, your core attitudes. Uh, very likely there's shifts that are happening within your home structure. You are releasing old thoughts or old patterns that no longer serve you. And spirit is stepping in with this energy that is coming vertically. And this might be something that you are aware of or you are not aware of. And that is one that you have unlimited possibilities available to you. So this, this, these changes, this shedding that is happening at your core level, it's, it's bringing up for you and reminding you <clears throat> that you have unlimited possibilities available to you. And some of those thoughts or those patterns that might have been present that you have been telling yourself have been telling you that you are limited, that you don't have, that you are in scarcity mindset. But spirit is reminding you, whether you're aware of it or not, that you have unlimited possibilities available to you. Spirit also wants you to look out for synchronicities, omens, signs from the universe. We've got the omens card. And this can be all kinds of things. It can be repeating numbers. It can be the wind blowing through your, uh, uh, through your space, wind blowing by you, uh, certain animals always appearing around you. There's lots of different things that are, are omens. It can be maybe something along the lines of uh, you are having a conversation with somebody and uh, you know within the next few minutes you see something that is an exact, uh, or not exact, but a very close, um, representation of what it is that you were talking about. I like to use the example of driving down the freeway and seeing a billboard that has something on it that you and another person were just talking about. Ba-bam! You know, or you are uh, talking with a friend uh, about something and then you go out shopping and happen to turn to somebody and just say hi and then they start talking and sharing with exactly something that you needed that you had from a prior conversation. So this, this energy of uh, omens, of synchronicities, uh, spirit is asking you to pay attention for that. And that very likely is gonna help you or lead you to somebody that will help you with removing some illusionary things that have been happening. Uh, it can also help you with uh, getting set up for things in your home life, in your, uh, Okay, pause that for just a second. Spirit is asking me to remind you all that this home card isn't necessarily about just your home, your, your surroundings, your dwellings, which home is kind of one of the, the messages that cancer has. Cancer likes to make a home. Uh, cancer is nurturing and uh, nourishing and wants to, to make everything nice and cozy. Uh, so there's, there's that energy that's coming up. But then also, this home card is not just necessarily your, your dwellings and your surroundings, but it's your actual related to your physical body as well. You know, where you, uh, where you house your emotions, where you house your mental thoughts, where you house your spirit, where you house all of your organs. So it's, it's related to your physical body as well. So 
there, there, there might be uh, things coming to you. Uh, maybe you're talking about uh, doing a juice cleanse, <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden you you get a really awesome deal or see a really awesome deal at the store for a package of juice cleanse, or you run into somebody that says, "Hey, I'm doing a juice cleanse. Do you want to do it with me? I'll make all the juice or whatever it is." Uh, you know, so pay attention to that as well. Or maybe you, uh, you know, magically run into somebody that is an interior designer and they want to help you, uh, you know, redecorate your house or whatever, or they want to work with your feng shui. There's somebody that's coming to you that's going to help you with all of that as well. Because remember, whether you are aware of it or not, there are unlimited possibilities for you. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages that you've shared. Let's find some clarification, and we're going to look at omens and stripping illusions, stripping illusions and unlimited possibilities, unlimited possibilities and home, home and omens. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Spirit is asking me to try something a little bit different today. So I said, okay. Apparently I'm on the right path. Okay. So I've used the Toth Tarot to find some clarification on some of these energies. There's some big cards that are coming up. We've got a lot of powerful energy. So when I look at omens and stripping illusions, uh, we've got the, the, the Ten of Discs, the Ten of Pentacles. This is a really beautiful energy. So some of you out there, as you're, you're paying attention to what is going on around you and you're removing these mindsets, these, uh, these releasing these energetic blockages, there's a lot of abundance flowing towards you, okay? And then with this uh, stripping illusions and unlimited possibilities, we've got the tower. Oh my God, this is powerful energy for this place. Very powerful energy. With, with these illusions leaving, with these, these thoughts, these paradigms, these things that have been outdated or you've ran with for a long time, uh, you know, we've got the tower coming in and crumbling that all down to remind you that once that happens, you're not stuck with the way things were. You have unlimited possibilities and the tower is a great energy for that because it's saying, okay, we're going to clear some shit. Now, it also is uh, sudden, and ex sudden and unexpected changes. Um, I kind of like to be on top of that. Uh, so I try to do my best to prepare and have an awareness of what is going on around me and make and take changes uh, before it gets to this place where everything just kind of topples over and uh, you know everything just <laughs> where the lightning bolt comes in starts everything on fire and then everybody's fleeing you know I kind of like to be a little bit ahead of that um, which is the traditional image for the, the tower card. There's a lightning bolt coming down, it starts the tower on fire, people are jumping out of the tower, it's crumbling over, and you know we've got sudden and ex unexpected change, and all of a sudden it's just crazy town, right? I like to be a little bit ahead of that and you know go, okay, where do I need to change? Where would it be beneficial for me to change? How can I do this? That might just be because I'm an Aquarius and I like change, and my ruling planet is Uranus, um, yeah, I don't know, uh, but definitely uh, there's positive change that is coming for you. We've got the Ten of Cups. So with this change, you are feeling amazing. You're feeling so good with the things that are coming and you're, you're, you're full on so many different levels. You're emotionally being taken care of. Look, we've got emotional release that's happening. So once this thing, uh, shifts, this emotion changes, this thing, you know, you're done with it, you're over it, you're having this feeling, you know, that everything is really doing good, that you're feeling wonderful, that you're feeling fulfilled, and you've got a sense of purpose, and you're moving for, forward with it. So on either side of this stripping illusions card, we've got two tens, and we've got powerful change energy. 
So I'm, I'm seeing that this is a really good outcome for you all uh, as, as you are, are stepping away from this energy that, yo, I'm done with it. And this can be as a collective as well. We're literally moving from the age of Pisces control, I, you do what I say, misogyny, like patriarchy, uh, into uh, a whole collectedness where we're embracing the divine feminine, where we're nurturing each other, even though things might be a little bit crazy in the world right now, it's all because we're, we're getting to this core value where we need to recognize that we have to take care of each other, where humanity is an actual important thing. And so uh, as a collective, we're, we're moving away from that. And this image of Velcro uh, pulling apart <laughs> is happening. And uh, we're just getting into this place where we're leaving this old paradigm and we're moving forward. So beautiful beings, now more than ever, super important. Make sure that you are looking out and sharing love with the people that are around you, even if they don't have love for themselves or other people. Make sure that you share love with them. That doesn't mean bend over backwards for people or give them your all of your energy. No, no, no. That means you are honoring your energy and you are also recognizing that they are in their process and offering them love through that way. So this, this stripping illusions energy that's happening right now is really beautiful. It's really supportive. We've got two tens showing up there for that. As I look at unlimited possibilities and home, we've got the, uh, the judgment card or adjustments. So this is a card of making sure that everything is in balance, that we're using our, our, our wisdom that we've gained uh, with that. So in this card, she's holding on to this sword, the sword of truth, and she's blindfolded. And with that, we're being asked to really trust our intuition, to look within and to really assess what is going on and work from a kind of non-biased area and balance everything out. If things aren't good in our bodies, look, we are almost three weeks into the brand, brand new year. Uh, you know, many of us have started things at the beginning of the year and we've said, hey, I'm gonna do this. And then we get a couple weeks in and we're like, yeah, we're doing okay. And then we forget about the thing and we stop doing it. So, uh, you know, Spirit is saying, hey, if you've, if you've started a practice for your physical body, if you started a practice to take care of your mind, you're being asked to, to look at that and weigh that and notice how it's helping you or not helping you. And this can be whatever it is. And to recognize that within that balance, you're gonna be able to find this and tap into this unlimited possibilities stream of energy, okay? Things around the home might need to move around. Like I said, we've got this feng shui balance that might need to happen. And we've got the judgment card. Now I think when I was talking about feng shui, I was talking about omens and home, but this energy of creating balance within the home, right? Uh, you know, is, is happening. Now, some of you out there might really be coming into feeling, uh, feeling like things are starting to finally pan out with this energy. Like, oh my gosh, it's starting to finally feel good. You're starting to finally find this balance with this energy because you have been turning inward and you have been looking at it, okay? So when we look at home and omens, there might be a little bit of, of, of energy that's coming in and, and uh, creating a little bit of difficulty. We've got the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a little bit of a challenging uh, 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 energy. You know, there can be some quarrels, there can be some uh, internal conflicts that are happening, and Spirit is asking you to take a look out for that. How are you talking to yourself? What are the what are the messages that you say to yourself when you first see yourself in the, in the mirror? You know, oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, this or that. Or what are, the, what are the messages that are coming up about yourself? Remember, this home card isn't necessarily about the home. It can be about our self, where we house our 
thoughts, where we house our emotions, where we house our spirit, where we house all of the parts of us, right? What are the messages that we're doing? You know, are we saying when we're eating uh, an indulgent food, um, you know, or we're, we're going for that, that, that delicious bag of chips, you know, are we saying, oh, you know, I shouldn't eat that, but I really am gonna, and blah, 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 or, oh, you know, what are the messages that you're saying to yourself? Because that type of, of, of message is really sending a mixed signal to your being. If you're gonna indulge, enjoy it. If you're gonna uh, uh, do a thing, enjoy it. You know, if you're talking negatively about yourself, whoa, that doesn't sit with your goals. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna look in the mirror and we're gonna jiggle all of our body parts and say, I love that jiggle, right? You know, I love that shibby shake, right? And watch your body and tell yourself that you love yourself. Because listen here, if you don't love yourself with all of your curves and wiggles, baby, you're not gonna love yourself if you look any different. You gotta love yourself in all of your shape, in all of your glory, right? So if you're telling yourself these stories, quit doing that because that is not supporting your, your, your self-love, your self-care. You gotta love all of the parts of yourself. So if you've got negative self-talk, please do something different that is the opposite of that, okay? Um, do something that is opposite because it's, the more that you do that, the more that you're gonna believe it, you're, the more that you're gonna affect your subconscious, the more that you're gonna feel it, and the more you're gonna create this change that you wanna see uh, that, that brings back to this balance and taps us into this unlimited possibilities and brings in this abundance flow for us, right? So we, we need to get rid of that, we need to shed, we need to have that emotional release of those thoughts, those things that have been coming through. Now, this can also be that there is somebody uh, within your close circle that is kind of doing some shysty stuff. You know, they could be kind of being the, the devil's advocate, okay? Be on the lookout for that. Look for the signs that that is happening, you know, Listen to the things that are being said on a deeper level. What is the meaning for that to all come up? We've got swords. Swords relate to mental energy, uh, the mind. Uh, so, you know, there, there, there could be some mind games that are happening. We want to cut that out and we want to not let that be the case. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. All right, let's see. What else do we have to share? What else do we have to share? Okay. Yeah, this is gonna go here. So with the omens and stripping illusions, we've got the moon that has come up, and you know, <laughs> there could be a lot that's coming through with that. Um, with the moon, it changes phases. Things could be a little bit uh, under the surface. We could not be really aware of what it is that is changing. Uh, so Spirit is saying, hey, uh, you know, as you are working with this stripping of illusions energy and you are shifting things and moving things away, pay attention to what is under the surface. What do you want to come up? Uh, we've got Virgo that's, that's coming in there as well. So some of you out there might be a Virgo. You might have strong Virgo placements. You might be dealing with a Virgo. And Spirit is saying, if, if that is you, there is something in this reading for you. Um, <clears throat> we've also got Virgo in that it might be time for you to start taking more care of yourself to uh, uh, really just... Spirit says, pause that, come back to, come back to this. So uh, taking care of yourself, but really... Um, as these things are shifting and changing in life, that and the things that might be under the surface with this moon energy that's coming up, um, and it can also be that this moon uh, or this the, the energy that's coming through with this reading is really powerful and impactful, um, because we are, you know, in this 3D uh, in my timeline, uh, and it is being recorded on the on the day of the full moon in Cancer. But, uh, you know, the, 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 there's some powerful energy that's coming through with this. But coming back to this, this Virgo energy that it's time for you to finally really just get, get on with whatever it is. And it, it, 
I'm being brought back to the stripping illusions card. So if somebody has pulled the wool over your eyes and you know, spirit is saying, you gotta buck up, okay? You gotta recognize that this thing has happened and you need to find a way to get over it. You need to find a way to just digest what has happened and get on with it. Okay, beautiful beings, you got to be able to move forward. Spirit wants you to, to move forward and it absolutely has to happen and you got to get over it. You have to accept what has happened uh, if, if, it's, if it's something that has been happening for a while. Okay, don't get stuck in a ruminating pattern. Spirit wants you to move forward. <clears throat> Hmm. So looking at this stripping illusions and unlimited possibility, looking a little bit more into this, uh, this tower energy, uh, we've got the fourth house that has come up. <laughs> the fourth house relates to cancer. <laughs> so cancer is about, um, as I mentioned, it's about our emotions. The message here with the fourth house is to take a look at things around your home. So this is really uh, about making your home your place. So sudden and unexpected changes around the home might be happening for some of you, okay? Be at peace with it, because remember, this is bringing you into this 10 of cups energy. So uh, trust that the, the change that is happening is really bringing a lot more emotional fulfillment. Things are going to be really good as this shift happens. Okay. Are we doing it? Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. So as I take a look at unlimited possibilities and home, We've got the seventh house, Libra, Libra placements. We've got Capricorn, and we've got progressions. Things are definitely, definitely uh, moving, shifting, changing. So Spirit is sharing with you really very important. What is your relationship like with yourself? Coming back to these these things that we're telling ourselves, these these uh, uh, thoughts, these emotions, these whatever it is that's coming up. What is our relationship to ourself? Are we allowing for adequate time for us to process our mental stuff, or are we constantly on our phones or on our devices or watching TV and filling ourselves and not? not allowing for this thing to process over here, right? We've got this this Virgo energy that's saying, hey, you gotta process it, you gotta get it done, you gotta get it over with, gotta da 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 right? And, and Spirit is now saying, what is your relationship like with yourself? Do you give yourself enough time to meditate? Are you giving yourself an adequate amount of space to be able to process the things that are happening in life? You gotta do that, okay? You gotta be in this place where, where, where you allow space for that to happen. It's a very important part of your wholeness, okay? We've got this Capricorn energy that's saying, you can do this, okay? You got this under control. You absolutely can. Look, <laughs> Capricorn is amazing. They create a lot of structure. They have some rules and guidelines that they live with. Uh, they have this ability to, to dive real deep and figure out what it is and distill this gem of knowledge, this wisdom, this, this internal glow. Like they have this ability to do this and bring it to the surface, okay? They can also be a little bit structured and a little bit uh, rigid, um, which, you know, we don't want to look at that, but we want to look at this ability to find this thing, this gem and bring it to the surface and let it shine, right? And when we do that, that really helps us to move forward and that allows us to create more balance, right? It might seem like doing all this hard work and then bringing it to the surface is tipping the scales in a really heavy way, 
but it needs to have that because for some of you out there, it's been tipped so heavy the other way. We gotta bring that and we gotta do that deep work. And that's one of the beautiful things that Capricorn does. It allows us to put our nose down and really do some hard work and then bring it to the surface and let everybody see it, right? And that's beautiful. And Spirit is saying, this is how you are moving forward. And this can also be within your home life as well. Uh, you know, you gotta do a little bit of work around the house and get everything all situated and then let it shine, okay? So this stuff that's happening right over here where the change might be happening around the house, Spirit saying, as, as this is happening, as you are you know, really putting in the work, make sure that your communications are kind and compassionate, first and foremost to yourself, and then compassionate and kind to others, okay? We don't wanna hurt people with our words. We wanna make sure that we support people with our words and our actions, okay? Even if it's not what's good for them, if it's good for you and you're honoring your truth, that is what it is. You want to honor your truth. You want to honor your energy. You want to honor what is coming up for you in a kind and compassionate way. And hopefully, if you are dealing with another person, that they are able to see that and they are able to accept some of that. Beautiful beings, this is the way that you are moving forward. All right, let's take one more look at this interference energy. What is it? Okay, let's look at home and omens. As you are making this energy move forward, as you are uh, looking for your shiny gem, ah, as you are doing this and moving your energy forward, <clears throat> this, this kind of funky energy that's running interference, it's, it's melting away because we've got this, <clears throat> excuse me, Somebody out there, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody out there needs to hear that. When my throat chakra gets all gurgled up, it's this ahem that <laughs> is, is spirit coming out and saying, somebody's gotta hear this. So as this energy is, is coming through with this change, as this change is happening, <clears throat> and you are moving your energy forward, and you're letting go of this, these self-talk things, you're, cutting you know this this little interference energy out that you know the, the person that's talking in one person's ear and talking in another person's ear you know as this is as this is you know being eliminated and you are releasing this energy excuse me we've got some really beautiful uh, uh, energy that's coming in and you're finding that maybe as you're having these conversations it's kind of nipping the bud you know, and, and stopping it from happening. And in that, <clears throat> there's actually something that's happening that's a little bit more harmonious. So it's, it's you standing in your energy and going, okay, this is where it's at. So even if it might be a little bit challenging for you as you are, as you are changing your mind, uh, as you're changing your, your, how you're talking about yourself, uh, it's, it's actually coming into alignment with yourself. We've got this trine and sextile energy that is coming up. And that is about a harmonious connection. That is about things working together. That is about things flowing smoothly and harmoniously. And uh, with that, uh, Spirit is asking you to, to step back and look at the strengths that you have, okay? Maybe it's, uh, you know, if, if, I'm gonna come back to this example of this negative self-talk. Well, okay, what is the, what is, where is the strength in that? Well, I tell myself lots of things. Maybe that's the strength, you know, like, oh, I recognize that I'm saying this, these negative things a lot, right? I'm saying them all the time, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the fact that I'm talking to myself and, and reinforcing whatever thing it is, right? We've got the thing, we've got the negative thing right here, and we want to have that be a positive, but the the, 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 the positive to the negative thing is that I'm saying it a lot. I'm saying it a lot, it's negative. We wanna change the it's negative to it's positive and I'm saying it a lot, right? So we're, we're looking at the, the places where we have strengths with this as well and we're relying on those strengths. So 
Yeah, I'm saying this a lot. I'm saying, you know, I don't like the way I look. I don't like my hair. I don't like my makeup. I don't like my eyelashes. My eyebrows are too thin because I plucked them out a long time ago and now they're not growing back and blah, 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 because that was the thing to do back in the day or whatever it is, right? Spirit is saying, that's a strength. You've, you've got that going on. You're talking a lot to yourself, which is really great. If it's a negative, it's not really great because you're reinforcing that negative energy. So we wanna flip that negative. You know, write post-its to yourself. Put them on your mirror when you walk by. Put it in your wallet when you open your wallet. Oh yeah, I'm abundant. I'm abundant. <laughs> I'm abundant. Instead of looking in your wallet and saying, oh shit, I don't got no cash. Oh shit, my credit cards, blah, 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 whatever it is. You know, I'm abundant. Uh, put little notes, little reminders in there. Help to reinforce that. If you got this, you know, talk going all the time, blah, 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 blah. Have it be something that is positive. Give yourself reminders. Set yourself up for success. Create a little bit of, of structure and guidance for yourself to, to be in that energy, right? Because you're going to be fed a lot of stuff if you're anywhere in social media or paying attention to what is going on in the world around you there's a whole lot of stuff coming into you that might not truly resonate with your highest good and greatest joy so you got to do everything you possibly can to set yourself up for success to remind yourself the more times you have this in your consciousness the more likely it is to become a subconscious behavior and then you begin to draw that into you Right? If you've got a lot of negative stuff that you're saying to yourself, it's very likely that you're attracting other negative people that are saying all these negative things and you're going blah, 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 and you feed off each other. You gotta cut that shit out. You gotta stop that, okay? And it starts with you shifting how you are talking to yourself, give yourself reminders, set yourself up for success. Rely on your strengths, beautiful beings. Hmm. Let's pull some final messages. No, that's not the one. We're going to look at the secret language of light. Angel spirits, guides. Thank you for the messages that you have shared. Hmm. What are the final messages that you have to share with our beautiful beings? Angel spirits, guys, what are the final messages that you have to share? One more. got soul writing as you are working with this energy of releasing this emotional thing uh, that has come up for you it can be very helpful for you to do some writing and uh, if any of you out there are familiar with automatic writing it's when you put your pen to your paper and just start with a, a conscious stream whatever it is that is coming up in your mind and you just start writing and you just keep writing and you just keep writing until you forget that you're writing and then you recognize that you're still writing and just writing stuff so with that we've got some some energy that is coming through that is your soul that is your higher self that is your spirit guides talking to you and sharing with you what it is that you need to know okay once you get in this automatic writing place, you can ask yourself questions, okay? Let it come up, don't think too hard about it, and then just let it write and let it flow, okay? This is, this is the thing that is happening. Might also be helpful for some of you out there to uh, work with somebody that does Akashic Records. Ask them to read your records and to see what it is that is in your records that are coming up for you in this moment. We've got variants. Things are a little bit, you know, kind of wonky right now. Big energy is taking place on this planet. 
big movement is happening, okay? So within that oscillation, within that movement, you're gonna be able to find some flow and find the vibration that is resonant with you, okay? We've got emotional release. You very likely were resonating at a, at a vibration that didn't feel comfortable to you and trust that your angels, your spirits, your guides, your higher self, whatever you believe in that is bigger than you, if it's nature, if it's an ocean or a tree, whatever that is, it's helping you to come into more of a resonant frequency with positive vibrations. And we've also got this need to create some space. So <clears throat> create space within your mind, create space within your emotions, create space within your physical body. Maybe that is going through a detox of some sort of level. Um, maybe it's a, a social media detox. Maybe it's a, a detox for your physical body. Maybe it's a detox from people that are emotionally combative or toxic. Uh, maybe you take a break from your spiritual studies and you, you re-look re at whatever it is that is coming up for you. But Spirit is asking you to create some space. Maybe create a little meditation space or get out into nature and, and be in space or go away from everybody and look up at the stars and meditate on the stars and the infinite possibilities that the universe has out there. Beautiful beings, these are the messages for today. I'm also giving away a free reading for the month of February. If you're interested in that, check out the descriptions below. All of that is in, in the description. I didn't mention it at the beginning. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you. <laughs> Beautiful beings, these are the messages for today. Remember to be kind to yourself. Remember to offer yourself gratitude for the journey that you've completed up into this point. Know that you are abundantly blessed with love, joy, light, prosperity, wealth, health, and all of the good good. <laughs>